Good morning. How to report 1099 miscellaneous on Schedule C? Well, there are seven ways to do that. So let's view uh, two ways. 10 miscellaneous revenue and 10 miscellaneous expense. So if you are a sole proprietor or an NLC or yeah, an NLC uh, run by one member, you are required to file Schedule C. So as a sole proprietor, if you receive a 1099, that's a revenue to you. So you will report that all on line, on Schedule C, line 1. A gross, I believe it's gross or revenue or sales. So as a sole proprietor, if you gave out 1099 miscellaneous, that is an expense to you. So there are six ways you could report that on your Schedule C. So I'm going to show you the form, the Schedule C, and we can go through it together. So let's get started. My computer here. With 2019 Schedule C open, Excuse me. Okay. So if you receive, you perform a service or services to your clients and at the end of the year they gave you 1099 miscellaneous. So those 1099 miscellaneous are revenues, so you'll put them on line 1 of Schedule C, Part 1, Income. That's an income to you, and that'll go on line 1 here. So if, as a sole proprietor, you hire contractor services and you gave out 1099 miscellaneous at the end of the year, well, six ways. The first one will be line 10. So if there are commissions that you pay out, as long as it's not something you have to capitalize, you could record those commissions that you have you um, you paid and you send out 10 at the nine miscellaneous for online 10. You could also use line 11 contract labor. Let's say you hire a virtual assistant to manage your customer's complaints emails or to manage your calendar or you hire a web designer to uh, design and maintain your website or improve your website CEO and you uh, send out a 1099 miscellaneous that could easily fit line fit on line 11 contract label just make sure that any expense you report on a line you don't report it elsewhere and double deducted so that's two ways so far so the third one will be line 17 legal and professional services if you pay a bookkeeping 
contractor to bookkeep to do your bookkeeping and you send out 1099 miscellaneous you could easily deduct that online 17 legal and professional services so that's three ways so far the fourth one will be repair and maintenance line 21 so if you pay an electrician to fix lining in your office as long as it does not increase the value of the property or uh, is now considered an improvement which in that case needs to be capitalized and depreciated as long as it's not an improvement you could deduct that expense on line 21 repair and maintenance so that's for so far so another way to deduct 1099 miscellaneous expense will be par through a cost of goods sold See if I can move this out of the way. Well, is now ten. So cost of gold sold. So that means you, uh, your labor cost is tied to your inventory so it could easily be deducted on line 37 cost of labor so but it, you can only deduct the amount that is related to the quantity sold so if you pay a contractor to produce a finished good for you you pay for their time you purchase the supplies and pay for the time to produce the finished good for you to sell then when you enter the finished good in inventory you inventorize uh, the labor cost as well and you deduct that as you sell the product so that cost that 1099 miscellaneous you pay for the labor cost could go here if especially if you don't sell all the product during the year or if you inventory if you have the uh gold in inventory and you count your inventory at the beginning of the year and the end of the year so if you have that process that accounting process then your cost of labor tied to your inventory will go on part three cost of labor cost of goods sold So that's fifth, the fifth way. So and the sixth way to report cost of good uh, 1099 miscellaneous expense will be part five other expenses. So if you don't want, uh, if especially if uh, your 1099 miscellaneous does not fit any of the above categories that we talk about or you want to group them all together as long as it's not tied to your inventory or it's not an improvement it's not tied to a cost related to an improvement that you need to depreciate you could list your 1099s here and the total will be on line 48 of part 5 will be on line 48 total other expenses but then the total should be reported back on line 27 other expenses so those are the six ways that you could report your 1099 miscellaneous expenses on your schedule c but if that's a revenue you have one way that's income you report it on line one of schedule c thank you for watching thank you for you all that comment on our youtube channel and thank you you all that subscribe to our channel as well we have our websites 
that we invite you to shop at we have ninasoap.com for our natural products and we have libellabel.com for our custom apparels and we will have those websites in the description as well if you want to buy something from our stores you are welcome to do so thank you for watching you stay safe